Romero Johnson, boss of bosses of the Romero family and owner of the new Black Wall Street. There is no question that we, who are known as the African Americans, were kidnapped and taken from our native land of Africa. There is no question that we lost our native language, culture, ancestral tree, and especially the knowledge of who we are under God because of the laziness of them pilgrims wanting to someone else to do their work for free. There is no question that the enemy is still attempting to erase our history and our knowledge of who we truly are. Like our forefathers were just born slaves and not God's true chosen people who were once free. One of the ways that they're attempting to rewrite and continue to hide our history is by trying to put out there that it was our people who sold our people into slavery and I call bullshit. This is their attempt to not feel the shame of their forefathers' sins against mankind by placing the blame on the victims, especially when they still have laws in place that fight against us knowing our true history like that bitch DeSantis is doing in Florida right now. That's some narcissistic ass shit right there. Another attempt at coming to the same results that I've seen lately was the enemy attempting to put out there that Christopher Columbus was black. Once again, implying that whatever happened to us was our fault. And the blame being shifted from the actual wrongdoers and placed on the victims. Again, I call bullshit. So, with this new show that I've created called The Tree of Judah, we're going to dig deep to reconnect us to the true history of where we come from and who we are under God. And this is how the show will go. This will be a 60 minute show that traces each guest's ancestry from where it began to all who are connected to the guests presently. We'll have our own trustworthy DNA and family tree research team. Because truth be told, I don't trust ancestry or any other type of platform like it. I've seen too many black, 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 black folks talking about they were more percentage of European than their black asses were African. Once we have the guests on the show, we have already done our in-depth research, contacting, and reuniting of all the family members. And this will be done via video conference. On the stage of our show, there will be a wall of television screens, 10 by 10 rows, making it 20 television screens in all, showing everyone that is related to the show's guests wherever they are located. With that, we ask that every group of relatives that we find to be in the same room with the current relatives wherever they are. So if you have 20 family members within a five mile radius, all of those relatives should be assembled in one location for the conference. If there's any older generations that can't leave their home, then the reunion can be held at their home for the family members in that area. Here's something else that I think you should know about this show. There will be other shows just like it for the other tribes of Israel. So don't be surprised if your 10th generation African American born and bred whose generations has never left America and you find out through this show that you are directly related to a 10th generation Cuban born family that has never went outside of Cuba. This is one show that I can't wait to get off the ground.